Now that I've hit the record button, we can get started. You can lower the hell. Uh, the roasting setup is perfect for fill two chimney. I'll light up a chimney starter full of briquettes and dump them in. Don't pick up lit charcoal like that. Hi, welcome to Shuey's Barbecue. Well, you'll learn the tips and tricks to master your grill. In this series of how-to videos that I'm calling Shuey's Shorts, I'll be running through some of the best ways to set up and get the most out of your 57 centimeter Weber kettle. In this video, we're going to be tackling the roasting setup using the charcoal baskets. If you do like this video, don't forget, give it a thumbs up, but also share it with your mates. But the best thing you can do for yourself is hit the subscribe and the bell buttons, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get into it. We need to tame that heat. Yeah. So let's run through some basics before we get into the setups. And these basics are for every cook. Number one, control the temp with the bowl vent. Leave that lid vent wide open. Number two, do not rely on a lid thermometer. Go out and get yourself an ambient temp probe that clips to the grill where your food is. The difference between the grill and where that thermometer on a lid is is about 15 centimetres and the heat is going to be drastically different from the two. Number three, the lid vent should always be positioned over your food or on the opposite side of the lit fuel. This is going to draw the heat and if you're using smoking wood, the smoke across your food and out through that lid vent. Four, use water as a stabiliser, because water heats up and cools down a lot slower than air does. So use it to help stop fluctuations in windy conditions. Also, if you've overshot the temp that you're looking to get to and you're having trouble closing the vents down and bringing that temp back down, add a water pan, add cold water to it and watch that temp drop really quickly. Number five, if you are starting a cook with a water pan, make sure it's hot water. That way it won't be cold water which will be absorbing all the heat and energy from your fuel. You won't be heating up the water, you'll be heating up the air inside the Weber. And the fact is then it's going to create steam straight away and steam actually helps smoke adhere to your food. Six, if you are adding smoking wood, especially chunks, and you're adding more than one, you want to leave a gap of at least 50 mil in between each piece. The reason being is the wood actually ignites and burns a lot quicker than the lump charcoal and the briquettes. And if you push them all together, they're going to force your fuel to ignite and burn a lot quicker, creating a massive heat, heat spike. So 50 mil apart and you'll be fine. Number seven. Don't overthink it. It is, in the end, just heat and meat. Number eight, stay hydrated. Although I'm not cooking today, I do need to stay well hydrated. Since beer is made up of 90% water and the human body is made up of 60% water, it's only natural that you'll have a drink or two while watching this video. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer video. But just to be sure, make it two. The roasting setup is perfect for roasting, baking, and cooking anything with a high indirect temp. 
This setup is perfect for using either briquettes or lump charcoal. Neighbours doing a cooking show, let's get out and mow our lawns. <laughs> do, do, do. Fill two chimney, they're not chimneys. <laughs> Fill two charcoal baskets with your desired fuel and dump them into a chimney starter. I should probably speak without dumping that. Dump them into a chimney starter. Done. Light that up when it's all ashed over. Put your baskets into the center of your Weber on the, on the charcoal grate, purely just makes it easier for dumping the lit charcoal in. Now you just need to put both baskets or push them to the outer edge of the charcoal grate. Always stay, keep an old pair of tongs handy and you can quite easily slide the baskets to either end. Leaving all the vents wide open, you should easily be able to reach temperatures between 220 and 240 degrees Celsius. Although by adjusting the bowl vents, you can lower the heat to suit the cooking temps you need. So there you have it. One of many ways you can set up the most versatile barbecue you can buy. The only thing left to do is work out what to cook. As always, thanks for watching. And if you do like free stuff, check out my Instagram for giveaways and extra content. Cheers.